Hey there, Jamin here back with another video update. We've got a lot to cover this time, so let's jump right in. We've just released Portfolio View to Advanced Plan users. Portfolio View makes it easy to keep tabs on all the projects you manage from a single centralized hub. It's available to any user on our advanced plan. To access it, simply click Portfolio in the sidebar menu. It's listed as the first option after the search field. Portfolio View features both your active projects and custom boards and automatically organizes them into favorites, custom boards, and projects. These catch-all folders hold everything that hasn't been moved into a custom folder yet. To move a board or project to a different folder, just drag and drop it from one to the other. Within a folder, everything is grouped by type, then sorted alphabetically. Favorited boards or projects are at the top, followed by any remaining boards in the folder, and finally, remaining projects. To create a new folder, click the blue plus icon in the upper left of Portfolio View and select New Folder. You can also choose to create a new project or a new custom board here. Creating a new folder adds it at the account level. This means everyone in your TeamGAN account will be able to see the folder in Portfolio View, but users will only be able to see the boards or projects they've been invited to within each folder. You can see project health report data directly from Portfolio View. This enables you to quickly assess how a project is tracking and identify issues early to mitigate risk. You can star your favorite projects, boards, and even entire folders to keep them at the top of your list in Portfolio View. Favorites are specific to you, so feel free to star as many items as you want. Portfolio defaults to have active projects displayed. However, you can use the status dropdown at the top of the page to toggle to the on hold or complete projects in your folders. You can also filter out empty folders and projects you're not on, as well as toggle different company accounts if you have more than one. Collapsing folders is an easy way to make your portfolio super scannable. You can collapse any folders you don't want to see right now to make your portfolio more scannable and open all of the projects in a folder by clicking the icon with the square and upward arrow. If you need to delete or rename a folder, you can do that from the three-dot menu. Any projects in a deleted folder go back to the default projects folder. For more information on Portfolio View, go here. I'm sure you're all probably familiar with Gantt View in Team Gantt, but let's take a moment to review some of our other views briefly. It's easy to access any of Team Gantt's helpful views right from the top navigation bar. List View is designed to give you a clean, simple view of the project without having to navigate a Gantt chart. See all of your project's important information at a glance, like start and due dates and completion percentages. Even comments, checklists, and time tracking information are all available at a glance in List View. You can drag and drop tasks or milestones to rearrange the order and even move them between groups. And as within the other views, you can update any information easily from List View. This easy to read option is especially great for meetings and project review. From back in the navigation bar, you can also access Calendar View, which displays your project data in a calendar format. This is great for seeing how tasks stack up on a particular day, week, or month. It's easy to toggle back or forward by months within your project, or if you want to see a particular month, you can select it from the dropdown. Your calendar defaults to displaying the current week first. Access and update any of your tasks by clicking on them in your calendar, and you can see only what you want to see by clicking the filter button. We can head back up to the navigation bar and select Board View, where you can view your project as a Kanban board. If you haven't already set up your project as a board, you'll be asked to name your columns and if you'd like to set a completion percentage to any columns. So as you move tasks through your board, the completion percentage will automatically update. Once you're in your project board, you'll notice all of your tasks and milestones have been converted to cards. Click on a card to access and update any info and move your cards through your columns as your project progresses. Board view is available on paid plans only. One last view I want to show you is My Tasks. You can access this from the sidebar menu. My Tasks is your own personal task list. It defaults to the Daily tab and shows you all of the tasks that are currently assigned to you and need to be worked on today. The Daily tab gives you a quick view of where your tasks stand by showing you completion percentage, when they're due, or if they're overdue. You can easily toggle back and forth by day to view your daily tasks for tomorrow or yesterday or select any day in the coming week from the drop-down to view its tasks. Updating tasks is easy from this view too. You can click the checkbox on a task to mark it complete or enter its completion percentage. Track time on it by clicking the clock icon or to see or update any other task information, just click on the task's name to bring it up. 
If you really want to focus on only specific tasks, you can star them, then click Show Only Starred. You can also view your tasks in Calendar View or Gantt View. At Team Gantt, we just completed our planning for the year, and boy does it feel great. But to keep track of how our plan shifts throughout the year, the first thing we do is set a baseline. Baselines are simply a snapshot of how your project looks at a given time. You can create them by clicking in Menu from Gantt View, and then Baselines, and finally, Create Baseline Set. When you toggle your new baseline on, it's represented by a gray bar. Use this as your timeline shifts throughout your project to keep track of where your project was when your baseline was set. You can create as many baselines as you need and toggle them on and off to see how your project looked at different times. Check out our new video series, Coffee with Brett, where in the time it takes to drink a cup of coffee, you can get quick, caffeinated tips about a wide range of project management topics, like this one. But here's the thing. I kind of worry that maybe sometimes you're being too nice. I mean, it happens because nice people just want to do a good job. And at the end of the day, you do want to gain the trust and the loyalty of the people that you work with. I mean, we all know that working with people who are comfortable and trusting of us allows everyone to be more productive and more effective. It also helps them to kind of just make things easier on projects. So you do what you can as a nice person. You can see more episodes of Coffee with Brett by going to this link. Well, that's it for this video update. Have a great day. See you next time.